Our friends at the network tell us that tonight marks the end and a beginning as the Big Bang Theory comes to a close. So what does that mean exactly? Maybe Kunal Nair has some insight. He plays Raj on the long-running hit show. He's joining us via satellite. Hi, Kunal. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my gosh. We are so excited. All right, so the first question we have is, will the elevator get fixed? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to answer any of your questions about the finale. It's only a few more hours. I, it's only a few more hours. All right. You know, we're, we're interested in you, though. I mean, from what I read, if it's true, this was your first permanent role on a TV series. Not bad, huh? Yeah, you're telling me. I mean, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. I continue to pinch myself. We continue, we were watching the CBS morning show and Gail King said that if you were in kindergarten, you would be graduating from high school for the duration of this show. So you've had people wow. literally watching you for 12 years for the whole duration of their adolescence. That's gotta be an incredible accomplishment. Yeah, it feels, uh, you know, I always say it feels like it's happening to someone else because when you say something like that, I just feel so overwhelmed and overcome by emotion. To, uh, that, that I was able to be a part of something so wonderful and this journey, I'm, I'm really gonna miss it. Mm. You know, as a mom of two kids, it's sometimes hard to find something you can watch on TV as a family. I mean, there's shows that are mm -hmm. for adults and shows yeah. that are for kids, and this is one of those shows that, does that weigh on you, and is it cool that you help make science cool for a lot of kids who watch <laughs> this show? Well, it's exactly what you said, Kara. Like, uh, for, for me, one of the greatest joys is that it's a show that actually brings families together. It's a show that, you know, grandparents and grandchildren can watch. Uh, you won't, if I tell you we have fans who are 10 years old and we have fans who are 90 years old, uh, that's not a stretch. That's the way it is. And to be a part of that, for me, is very humbling. And, and it fills me with gratitude. Do you remember that when you auditioned for this show and did you think that it was going to have such a cultural impact on, on society? I mean, I remember the audition like it was yesterday, but I also remember not knowing what I was getting myself into. I didn't understand at that time the gravitas of the situation. I was a kid out of grad school and I was full of bravado and I wanted to be a working actor and I had a paycheck in my pocket and I was feeling great. I didn't, <laughs> at the time, I was not self-aware enough to realize what it was going to become. Oh my gosh. How has this show changed you on a personal level? Mm -hmm. and, and are you even in real life? Do you like science? Is, is Raj any part of you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, there's lots of parts of me that are Raj, obviously, and uh, I, I'm personally never a big fan of, obviously, what, what lies beyond and astrology and what lies beyond the earth, uh, but uh, science, I've never been a huge fan of science myself, but it's changed my life, obviously, for the better, because it's given me the ability to give back to change people's lives, to hopefully make the world a better place, a happier place, and that's the way it really changes your life. You got a standing ovation at the upfront yesterday at CBS. How did that make you yeah. feel? Yeah. Oh, wow, it was really, it was unexpected. I didn't know that we were gonna get a standing ovation at Carnegie Hall, but, uh, you know, again, it was one of those moments where I, I, I had to shake myself and, and, stay, and say, just stay present, just, you know, take it all in because sometimes it can feel like I say, it feels like it's happening to someone else. I'm living someone else's dream. And I just had to say, you know, remind myself to stay present and stay calm and, and really enjoy it. Enjoy that moment. It was very, very special. And to share the stage with the cast uh, was very beautiful. Where are you going to be tonight? How will you watch? <laughs> Alone in my hotel room, the box of <laughs> tissues, crying, like, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm in New York right now. Uh, it would have been really lovely if, if I was home, you know, but my whole family was here from India to watch the finale. So I've already had that moment with my family. They've all gone back now. Um, but I mean that. I mean, I think I mean just watch it on my own. And then we're going to text each other. With, we have uh, this group text with the cast and we're going to text each other and hopefully Aww. meet up uh, for a drink somewhere. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on 12 wonderful, magical Thanks. years. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. All right, well, the final two episodes of The Big Bang Theory air tonight, starting at 8 o'clock. You get the back-to-pack -back option. Can you believe it? And Sheldon it? is going to be in between, and then there's a retrospect. Respect. You know, I was saying, I would, if I can make it all work, it's a busy time for a lot of people, I would like to get around the TV and bring my whole family, because it's one of those shows that you really can watch as a family. Absolutely.